Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am so excited to be sitting here in my closet, cozy as can be. Here is my vanity behind me. Let me know in the comments if you would like a tour. I'm kind of restocking, reshuffling, reorganizing, doing all of that good stuff. And I am so excited to almost be done with this room. So you will see the rest of it very, very soon. But today I have an epic, big, huge, like I'm staring at the big boy, the big bag right here. It's just, oh, oh. Oh, ow, actually that is a hefty bag of makeup. Okay, I have Sephora, but wait, there's more. We also got some Ulta going on. Before we hop into the makeup, I have a quick announcement. I wanna let you guys know, if you are a part of the Halo Beauty email list, then go check your email. We have a major promo going on right now that you do not wanna miss. If you are not on our email list, well, don't worry about it. You can hop on, you'll still get that email for the current promo that we are running. It's a good one. So I just wanna make sure that you are all aware of that. And I will put info on everything you need to know in the description box below. Let's get to the makeup. If you guys saw on Monday, I got rid of so much makeup. And the funny thing is the beginning of that video, literally the vlog footage of James kind of over my shoulder of me actually like physically throwing things away. I look so sad. Like I literally, you can tell that I was having a hard time letting things go. Long story short, if you don't know, I had a sty. It was ugly. It was painful. It was with me for over two weeks and I did not wear any makeup, which is part of why I got rid of so much expired makeup. I've made a vow to do better with getting rid of old makeup, had to replenish some. And then also it's like, there were new items that were like, please try me, buy me, test me, review me. So we're gonna talk about the new, new. And then also um, not wearing makeup for two weeks uh, led me to kind of putting all of it on my face at once. Today, I'm wearing a lot of makeup. This is like not my go-to anymore. What do we think? Do we like the glam? I feel pretty gosh darn glam today. I also got my hair done today. I mean, I'm almost back to like glamorous me minus um, wah, 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 my nails. We're just gonna like be chill with that. You guys, I'm working on the house so much that I just don't even have patience to paint and have it chipping and all of that stuff. And I just wanted to take a break from gels. So literally in the last video linked below, every insert, I was like, oh no, like, oh my nails, oh my gosh. Like, oh, I was like, felt really dramatic about it. And um, I'm probably gonna feel the same way in this one when I watch the inserts. Wait, I did get a nail thing. You know what? Maybe I will put this on to make the inserts like just more satisfying and beautiful. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, now you do. I am a dashing diva fan. These are the gloss ultra shine gel polish stickers and they do last a really long time. And honestly, whenever I can't make it to salon, and I feel like I don't have the capability to paint. These save the day and I'm straight up tacky sometimes with my nails. So I'm like, oh my gosh, glitter plaid? Like, come on, does that not scream fall? Like I need these. Okay, so where do we start? Oh, hey, oh, hey, I got rid of eyeshadow palettes, which means more eyeshadow palettes needed to make their way into my life. Now I have a sticker system that I intend on doing where I have like a cute little gold metallic pen. I have little circular stickers, write the date, and then each item that you purchase should have, if you didn't know, a little once opened, this is how long this will be good for little illustration. And this one right here, the Rose Metals from Anastasia Beverly Hills is good for a whopping 12 months. So next September and no, are we in October? Oh my gosh. Plaid nails are appropriate, but how are we in October? How? Have I still not gone to Starbucks? I'm gonna need to figure out how to pumpkin spice it at home. You guys, I only drink coffee at home now because I feel like Starbucks coffee makes me violently ill with a headache and I feel like there's mold in their coffee beans. Challenge me on it. We can like throw down. I went through like intense coffee research and I just feel more comfortable 
with my pour over at home. But I would appreciate if you have a pumpkin spice recipe, let me know because I do miss that. I like, I miss that. It's October, I miss it. Okay, so the Beverly Hills number that we have here. Oh my goodness. I have not been excited for an eyeshadow palette from Anastasia in a hot minute, but I stood there and I was like, should I, should I not? I'm getting rid of things, maybe I should. I should, Rose Fire, are you kidding me? This is like the most ridiculously gorgeous, beautiful for this time of year, flattering copper shade. And I just, I needed to, I needed it. We'll do a better closer up insert of all of these swatched, but that is just like pow pow, you know, like it's so gorgeous, really flattering. I am wearing this today. I wanted to do a haul and not try everything, but there are a few items that I tried today because I can't resist. If I was gonna do makeup full glam, you know I wanted to be in it and all about it. So, so far this is a standard good quality product from Anastasia. I've always had a good time with her shadows. So I'm not like surprised and shocked. It's just a good palette and I like the colors and the metallics and they're smooth and they have nice texture. I just, I, I think it's a, a winner. I think I'm gonna really enjoy it. Okay, so the other thing I have is from Tarte. Now this is a $157 retail value for 49 bucks. We are already in holiday. Did we even have time to enjoy our pumpkin spice? No, we're in holiday already in the makeup world. I mean, sometimes I think, can we just please slow it down? I feel like we're intentionally forced sometimes to skip seasons. Like I was telling someone today, I'm like, oh yeah, and for winter, like literally as if it's already winter. We're not in winter. Like, did I skip over fall? Does anyone else do this? Anyway, this looked lovely. Then I remembered on the way home that I don't really like the uh, formula from Tarte when it comes to creams, but sometimes the holiday collections have a different formula, so we'll have to see. I am excited to try it out. Shh. I love doing holiday gift guides, so you guys know I'm already testing swatching, trying, making the notes, and that video will be coming. Okay, so we have here a gorgeous palette that will get a sticker. I can't wait to swatch this. Okay, ooh, you know what? Every single time I have gone to Sephora and I wanted to buy this, they are always sold out. This is from Say. This is the Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer and I swatch it and I touch it and I'm like, this blends beautifully. This kind of reminds me of the Chanel Sol, Sol, Sole, Sole Dan, Tan, who am I? <laughs> Sole Tan de Chanel, that is not what it is, but you, you know, like, you know, it's kind of like this, but bigger. Uh, this looks so nice, <sighs> creamy, dreamy, clean, and I just, I love a good cream bronzer contour situation. I'm wearing like five pounds of it right now, right here. Might be a bit much, but I was in the mood. I was in a makeup mood and it is like nine o'clock at night. So uh, after I film this, I'm gonna be in a makeup mood on the couch, staring at my husband, looking really glamorous. Uh, so that will be my night. James did some shopping as well. He got the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Conditioner and shampoo. He also got one more thing. Can we guess? I will pause for a moment, just collectively think if there's one other item that my husband's gonna be purchasing from Sephora, what is it? Hint, it's in a yellow bottle and he will never give this up. Like he will never even try another soap. Like I ordered this fancy charcoal soap and I'm like, how about we switch to like bar soap? It's like so nice and clean and like not like so crazy fragranced and he literally is like not having it. He absolutely will not uh, function in his life without the Brazilian Foreplay <laughs> Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. It does smell so good. Like I do have to admit, like this is such a good one. I do love this so, so much, but I just find it funny that he will not, like this is a typical guy thing in my opinion, he will not veer. He's like, found it. Actually, you know what? I should like applaud that, that he's consistent <laughs> with what he likes. He's a loyal man. Moving on. 
wait, did I tell you I got new hair today? Like I, it's lighter. It's like caramello-y. It's like, it's the hair of my dreams. I have not loved my hair more in a minute. It's making me feel like a fresh new woman. Shout out to Rick Henry. I love you. You are such a wonder worker with hair. I love it. I feel business ready at night filming in my closet. Business ready? Event ready. Maybe if I changed. Um, okay, continuing on, we have the Patrick Ta Four Face Cream Powder Foundation Duo. I put this in an IG story. The moment that I saw it online, I was like, this needs to be in my life. I love a good cream. I actually even like touching up on the go with a cream and then like with a smaller brush and having this powder in here as well just makes sense to me. And I really loved the shade selection. I did not wanna go out on a limb and try it today first time and then sit down and film. I was a little bit scared, not gonna lie. Maybe I will do a first impressions with this and we can see how the powder goes and how it wears all day. Let me know if you wanna see that sometimes. I mean, sometimes I do miss doing a first impressions. Did you just see my knee? I'm wearing camo pants. I do not match. My outfits never match. I intend for them to. And then I sit down and I'm like, you know what? I don't like just the black top. Let's put on a, a really crazy blazer and have... Hey, I'm squirmy too. Oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm in a mood. Okay, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Seriously distracted by my own bad fashion right now. And I'm in my closet. Like I could change, but yeah. I don't know. Do we want to turn this into a weird video of like things I regret buying because I just feel casual and chatty. This is in here. Now I really don't match. Okay. Like let's, this is like the thumbnail right here. Um, we're in my fancy closet and every day I come in here and I look at this freaking Chanel bag and it's pretty and all, but I'm kind of devastated because I have never once never once carried this and it cost a lot of money. And I think I was trying to show off and impress people that aren't even in my life anymore. Um, like, look at me, I'm so cool. Do you like me? <laughs> um, it didn't work. Uh, so anyway, I pass by it and I just kind of go, Ugh, right? Like, d I just want to share this really quickly because it's in my eyesight here or my eye line. Uh, do not purchase things to impress other people ever. I don't care what it is. Don't do, if it's makeup, I don't care. Don't do it, save your cash. And also probably don't buy a Chanel bag. I don't think I'll ever buy another one. I just, I think it's a waste of money. Um, now that I'm like mature or something. Okay, where were we? Uh, this is not sponsored. Not even a little bit, but I just wanna reinforce <laughs> that I'm obsessed with the people that I partner with, like behind me, this is gross, but I have my Medicube, like it needs to be cleaned um, because I really use this. And I have this guy right here, like I use the stuff that I promote, like I have to be obsessed with it for me to really, really like go in and promote to you guys. So I don't have a code or anything, this is not sponsored, we're not gonna stay long here, but I'm still into this. I was out of it for a minute and I'm like, why is my skin being just like, like a little bit crinkly on the forehead? And I forgot, I'm like that, this is what fixes that. It is a barrier cream and it just does something to make that crinkliness go away. And I'm just gonna keep it real. I have crinkliness uh, and lines on my forehead and I don't love it. I really don't. It makes doing makeup a lot harder. So uh, if you don't like your crinkles, which in my opinion are worse than just wrinkles. Uh, make sure you're using something a little heavier with your moisturization process. Okay, now we have something that I saw in the front of the store at Sephora. This is from Milk and it's some kind of concealer slash, ooh, I'm so scared to open this in the white, white room. <gasps> ah! Okay, this is a concealer slash also foundation. I don't know. I got two shades and I will be trying it out. I know what I was gonna say. I know, I know what I was gonna say. Uh, full day wear tests. 
Do we still like those? Because they get zero views. Like I'm thinking I need to make them into shorts. Times are changing and we need to evolve and like get with the times because I just miss it. I used to put on a foundation and I do like all my check-ins and I'd be like, this is amazing or this is just a grease fest or this would be better suited for this skin type or wow, you can get this done on a budget better. And I just like get in it with the like, one product review instead of showing you guys like 5,000 different things. I miss doing those, but honestly, I don't wanna make content that you guys don't wanna see. So maybe we'll do shorts, shorts, reels. I'm the worst at reels, oh my gosh. Don't even go to my Instagram, just like it's that bad. Just, <laughs> just don't. All right, so I got another holiday item from Tarte. I love their Amazonian clay blushes. And so I saw this and I'm like, yep, this is not here year round, so we're doing it. This is the press, 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 pause. It's been a long day. This is the Precious Gems Amazonian Clay Cheek Palette. That's precious. Okay, I'm gonna have a good time with that one. I needed a restock. This seemed like a good idea. I like the different colors. I like that it comes with soap. This technically would be a really good holiday stocking stuffer gift. You know what I'm saying? Um, they do have, hello, the Bounce Foundation Liquid Whip Long Wear. Is this different from their OG Bounce? Just like repackaged? Remember it had like the, like and it had like a dip on it and they sent everybody a giant beauty blender and like every one of their shades. That was one of my most loved foundations. They stopped making it. I'm super sad about it. And I need to do further investigating because this says it's the bounce, but whipped. I don't know. I think I'll like it. I'm realizing I am an entirely different person when I film at nighttime. Maybe it's that I'm not like as distracted, like with the daylight and the birds and the sounds and like people in the house, but I just feel more sassy and laid back at the same time. I don't know. I just feel like it, this is a different mood. You know what I'm saying? I like filming in here. I also feel like no one can hear me. And so it's like, I can just be. Uh, all right, so we have from Ilia, we have the fullest volumizing mascara. You guys know I got rid of every mascara out there. I really, really love, I've been uh, swearing by the, oh no, it's not in here. I'm gonna save it for a favorites. There is a new mascara I'm loving so much. I have been on the hunt for more clean formulas that don't have, I believe it's carbon black that I'm trying to get rid of. I did a bunch of research like what's irritating my eyes. Am I gonna go full clean with eyeshadow? Probably not. In a perfect world, sure, I wouldn't even wear makeup and I would be blissed out in my garden and feeling naturally glittery. I don't know, but I love makeup. I love the expression of it. And to be honest, a lot of the cleaner products just do not perform the same as mainstream. However, with liners and mascara, I am trying to be more focused on doing a better job finding cleaner formula because I tend to get it in my lid and the eye doctor can actually see the makeup like in the lid. So I am doing a little more investigating on that front. The Ilia mascara, I had a smaller one. It's really nice. I do love it. Also Kosa's makes a great volumizing natural mascara as well. And then I have from Patrick Ta. Oh my gosh, I did not bring it over here. I'm wearing it. The new plumping gloss in Pouty. And then I got full syringe, that name though, right? This is a bold claim. This just was on like a light up fixture in Sephora and there was something about the color that just made me smile and made me want it. And I have to say you guys, the doe foot applicator on here, it's not just a fatty one, it's like long and uh, distributes the gloss so nicely. It burns and it's tropical. I don't know about the combination of those two things, but so far I like that it makes my lips look giant. Like it really does a good job being super reflective, spicy, and then somehow kind of like sweet and tropical. Um, This, oh, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. 
Actually, no, I don't want to say that. Why do, why do we say that? Like maybe I'm going to work on not saying that. I'm really trying to be aware of the words that I speak out over my life. I have noticed I say some of the most terrible things. Like if something's funny, I'm always like, are you dying? Are you dead? Are you dying yet? Like I need to stop it. Anyway, James will likely not be thrilled that I'm sharing this man secret here on my channel. I did not buy this, he did. He was like, do you think this would work for me? He's really not having it that his eyebrows are super light and not like as bushy as he would want them. I don't know if this is because of the long hair or whatever. I feel like his brows look kind of the same as always, but he wanted to try a brow serum. I'll let you guys know if this is James approved or not. Um, but it was really cute. He was like, do you think it would work? And I'm like, well, you know, give it a try. You can also PS use castor oil for brows, which actually I have in here. I got from Heritage Store. You guys know I love the mist. This one right here. Let's just, let's just do a little bit. It's so nice. I'm in a garden of relaxation. It's just, it's nice. Okay, I also got their castor oil treatment for body hair and brows. It's 100% cold pressed. And then I did get the rose water moisturizer. I was just really curious to try this. I like the ingredients and I love the way that this makes my skin feel and the way it smells. I normally cannot stand the way rose products smell like they smell someone's gonna get mad at me for this they smell ancient they smell like from another era or time and it just has not been something that i've been drawn to so i was surprised at how much i like this particular scent of rose if that makes sense if that scent makes sense. i put on too much lip gloss Woo -wee, girl. oh my gosh i'm burning up over here um, the show must go on. Uh, okay, I got, because I'm sure you can tell, like my hand is a little bit dipped in the clean, organic, like I am being that way with my diet. I am putting that video together. You guys wanna know every detail of what I eat in a day, what I've changed. I'm moving away from the vegan lifestyle, not that I was ever full vegan. I very much had embraced a lot of that way of being and liked a lot of vegan food. And then I realized that my body rejects a lot of nuts, seeds, seed oils. It's a whole different topic. We're gonna go there. But as I have explored what has helped my body and keeping things very simplified, organic, I'm all about the non-GMO life because I have such an issue with glyphosate. Glyphosate PS is Roundup. It's what they put on many crops, mainly corn and wheat, which is why I have such an issue with gluten. And it's just, I can't make it make sense that it would be good for anyone. So I look now at ingredients and cosmetics and I'm like, okay, I'm not ready to make that leap, but I am curious to see if I can find things that work as well. Like I said, I'm not there with the color just yet, but things like shampoo, and body lotions and some skincare and stuff like that. Like I'm kind of peeking and peering into it um, with what makes sense. And this brand is called Inner Sense Organic Beauty. A lot of people have said great things about this. I did the like baby step kind of thing. This is just a trial pack. Um, let's see how this smells. Do you wanna know something so creepy? Oh my gosh, <gasps> this is actually creepy. I did not, by the way, not one time did I say the name of this brand. It's not like I was like, hey, James, look what I just bought, Innersense. I got home from purchasing this and I started getting ads on IG for this brand and it just weirded me out. I was like, oh my God. Like, I think, I think they're listening to my thoughts. <laughs> I have loved reading your stories about you guys feeling like the cookies or being tracked with your shopping like is a little too much when you go on IG and it's like curated everything that you need or wanted. I mentioned that in another video, but a lot of you guys were like, no way, like this has happened to me too. Keep those stories coming. I'm so highly entertained by them. Okay, so let's give a, smells like absolutely nothing. Okay, I'm fine with that though because I am on fragrance timeout still. 
All right, I repurchased, you guys saw this, you already saw that I really love the Stay All Day Smudge Proof Stick from Stila. And then my Pixie Pencils, love those. Got rid of the old ones, the crusty dusty ones, and now we have new. Honest Beauty, I got the Lip Crayon. This is the Demi Matte. I've used this before and I really do like it. This is Marsala. Got some Honest Wipes, I really love these. Is Honest at Ulta? I'm not sure. I bought those at Walgreens, which they had like a really nice display there. I have to say I was impressed. Okay, I got the Essence Make Beauty Fun. This is their 20th birthday edition eyeshadow palette. Look how beautiful this is. It's like bright and punchy, but not obnoxious. Like I do feel like I could wear a lot of these colors, even though it is, you know, definitely got some like bright teal in here and whatnot. And it was like $11.99. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Let's just, I don't know. Why not? Why not? Very beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna have fun playing with this. For sure, I have the On Point Friday palette from Pure. Do not judge, I literally just got rid of like 15 palettes and I was just like, give me the eyeshadow, I need it. Um, I do really love Pure Mineral Shadows, they blend so well. And this is just so compact and cute, you have everything you need for a full look. Great for a natural girl on the go. Uh, this is the kind of like toss it in the purse, you've got some metallics, you've got some metallic brown, you know, good transition shade, a nice dark one down here that you could use as a liner. So I really love that. Restocked my honest blushes because James in the video on Monday, he like kept going. He's like, and foundation you should get rid of every six months and cream blush you should definitely get rid of. It can grow yeast and this and that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, do I even really wanna know this? You know what I'm saying? I had my honest cream blushes literally over a year and a half. Use them all the time. They last a very long time. They stay creamy and usable. They do not dry out. These are some of my very, very favorite as far as cream blushes and they're at drugstore. So so I have peony pink and rose pink. I also picked up a smudge pot waterproof gel eyeliner from Stila just to have a new gel liner. I was feeling fancy. I usually go for the L'Oreal, but I was like, you know, let's, let's really do it up. Let's see if this is any better. And then because I got rid of so many of my cream shadows, I felt like, you know what? Maybe one more would be nice. So I only got one, but this shade, you guys, You've gotta be kidding me. The shade Ocean, it is a bronze, like a champagne bronze with a little bit of a pink undertone. And it has the most beautiful iridescent, it's like a blue shift to pink, little glimmeries in there. And it is so wow stunning. Like I cannot wait to play with this one. I'm really excited. And then, why are you in here? I was wearing this the other day. Shout out to Fawn lip glosses, this is a moment and it is beautiful. I don't know why it was in there. You guys, that is it. That was my big shopping adventure, a ton of new things. I am trying to be selective. I feel like I kind of went a little bit overboard, but not like too crazy. Cause the last video I was like, let's like, reel it in and be a little more minimal. And I'm gonna keep saying that. I review products for a living. If you at home are watching, like just take a look at everything that you have and make sure you're not watching videos and feeling super pressured to keep up with it all because I am living proof of like realizing you don't need the full big collection. You know what I'm saying? Like having a hundred eyeshadow palettes is like, why, you know, like why? Uh, so I will continue doing my thing here on YouTube and finding the very best to recommend to you all and warning you of what doesn't work as well because I love to do those kind of videos every now and again also. And there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Go have a good one, whatever you are doing. I love you so much. My eye is back in health. I'm back in action full time here twice a week. So I hope you come back and hang out with me soon. All right, I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.